This is a novel that uh, has been 40 years in the making. It started when a plot came to me when I was 18 and uh, just after I had disclosed to my own parents that I had been sexually abused. I had been abused at 10 over a six month period by a psychiatrist and I had gone to the psychiatrist. My family had taken me there uh, because I was acting out. Uh, the psychiatrist put me on Ritalin. I was having issues in school. Uh, I was that struggling boy and so I was taken to the psychiatrist and unfortunately the psychiatrist was a predator and um, abused me and molested me. And this novel tells a story about that. Uh, over the last 40 years, my career has actually gone in other directions, a lot of nonfiction, psychology, education, other work, always, always a profound sense of, of um, uh, pain over what's happening to boys. And so a lot of my books are informed by that, a lot of my work and my, the Green Institute's work is informed by trying to help people raise boys. And, um, uh, and sexual abuse and trauma and bullying trauma, these things are always in the forefront of that. Uh, it also, from the title, The Stone Boys, um, uh, you might resonate with that and think, ah, there's meaning there. And there is, there are actually a lot of layers in the book as to what the Stone Boys means. And one obvious layer is um, that, that boys turn themselves, have to turn themselves to stone or turn their hearts to stone to some extent to survive and even to thrive uh, through trauma, through bullying, through abuse. Um, they, they have to do that. And to some extent, it's important for every human being to be resilient and to, to do that. Um, and and to, to, it's not an either or, you know? It's, uh, I've, I've survived and thrived to some extent because I was able to compartmentalize. But on the other hand, um, it's not a good course. The reason I wrote the novel, um, if, I, if I could have a, a, a um, psychological reason, a philosophical reason, would be to try to help boys open up.